Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today I am at Virago. So if you guys know my channel, you know that I'm not that good at PVM. The highest PVM I've really done is like, you know, the Rise of the Six. I've just been recently getting into that and I usually just stick to like farming and you know, little loot videos here and there of like God Wars and Slayer creatures and all that kind of stuff. I never really went and did Rago for two reasons. One, I was way too scared because I was thinking, you know, I'm, I'm shit at Rago because I haven't done it yet. Other than I did it once for um, a comp requirement, so, you know, I, I kind of leached that mass, I mean, whatever. Uh, you know, I just didn't want to, like, embarrass myself, and I didn't really want to spend the time to actually get into it. But this weekend, I made a bet with my friends on if I should Rago or not, and I lost the bet, even though it was more of a benefit. Because what happened was, I was slaying at Edimu, so you guys know those guys, you know, Blood Necklace Shards, you've probably seen my loot video or whatever. Um, I bet them that if I got two shards tonight, if I got two shards that night, whatever... Um, I would Rago for one split. So that means I would Rago with them until we get a split, be it a wand or a seismic singularity or whatever. Um, so I lost that bet because I got two blood shards that night. It was pretty epic. But um, And then I also made another bet with my friend JJ if he could finish a bow within the next, like, I don't know, like 50 keys or something because he's, like, really lucky. I mean, he's at, like, five bows and 500 kills or something of legions. That's insane. Um, his drop rate is like 1 in 15 for his signet, but um, I was thinking, you know, that's got to end, and it didn't. He, he finished the bow. So that I lost again, so now I have to Rago with them for two splits. Now I'm going to be Ragoing for a while because two splits might take 60, 70 kills if I'm, unlo uh, you know, at the rate. But that's fine. So I'm like, screw it. I will Rago with you guys this weekend. So we did that on Friday night. We Ragoed, and we got five kills in six attempts. And that's pretty awesome for me because I am not good at all at Rago. I still am not good. Um, I'm okay at DPS, I'm like I'm getting there, I'm working on it, I'm getting better at the mechanics, like stuff like that. But look at this, early on in one of the kills, I don't remember if it was after my first kill or before, JJ was distracting me on Skype, talking to me or whatever, and I didn't pay attention to the reflect, which right now I'm actually really decent at, I'm not the worst, and I accidentally PK'd my friend Zombie, so if you know Zombie, yeah, I PK'd him, you can hate me, but... I thought it was kind of funny at the same time, but it kind of sucks that I did PK someone. That That's pretty embarrassing, and it made me feel like, oh, God, I just PK'd somebody. But he'll probably get me back eventually, you know, 40 kills from now. He'll, he'll probably, like, just omnipower me or something. I don't really know what's going to happen. But other than that PK, we really don't have that many mishaps going on other than the occasional death. I mean, this rotation is the purple bomb rotation, which is kind of challenging for our bomb tank, JJ Rocker. He's not really experienced on it yet. He's getting better. Our base tank is learning, you know, Purple Bomb or whatever a little bit better. The thing with Purple Bomb, though, is it's the easiest rotation to learn if you're a brand new DPS. So that's why we did it. I mean, it, it was very easy for me. I don't really have to do much. I just have to uh, DPS as much as possible. We do six to seven man teams, so I know that's kind of a lot, but that's fine. Uh, you know, we're just, we're all kind of learning. We don't really have any experts. But um, at least on the first night when we did our first kill, we did have an experienced bomb tank. Just, you know, help us with that kind of stuff. Um, we've been doing progressively more kills just with our seven people or whatever that are still learning. And it's pretty fun that we're actually getting Rago kills. So at this point in time when I'm recording this, I'm at eight kills and I got my first kill yesterday. So that was pretty epic. I'm so glad that I actually can Rago. And basically now I can do almost every single thing in the game in terms of like in terms of PVM. The only thing I can't really do is hard mode Rago. That's what I gotta work on. And then any subsequent new bosses coming out. In you know, in this month alone, I've gotten into Rots, I've gotten into Rago now, and it's just really awesome because it's gonna help me with my new series that has to do with PVM. You know, obviously I have to know how to PVM uh, all the bosses. But yeah, if you're wondering what type of drops we've been getting, uh, no splits yet. I think they're at like 20 something kills, no splits. I mean, that's not horrible, but I'm obviously at eight kills with no split, but I do not expect any splits anytime soon. I really don't care if we get any splits. Rago is just fun on its own. I, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. It's, it's a lot more fun than Rots because the thing with Rots is that Rots is just very, very repetitive. I know Rago is kind of repetitive at the same time, but it's just rots it, i don't know i just it's so like you're not really hoping for anything i mean there's no seismic wand you know massive split or anything that you can get at rots you only can get you know a shield which is still good but it's not as like epic as if you get a seismic wand so yeah basically my plans are i'm just gonna be ragoing with my friends every weekend or so um and then on the weekends that we can't rago because we don't have enough people or we don't feel like it we're probably gonna be doing kk and then throughout the week we're gonna be doing kk and uh, rise of the six 
And that way I'm going to get a lot of PVM done for my upcoming series, which I'm still working on episode one. I'm trying to make it as epic as possible for you guys. I just want to make this quick video showing you guys I'm actually starting Rago, and I'm really happy that I'm getting somewhere in this game because uh, it's been a long time since I said I was going to Rago. I said I was going to Rago like last July. It's finally time to, for me to actually just shut up and just go do the Rago and get it done. Maybe in the future when I actually do get a seismic or something, maybe I'll make like a little clip of me getting it or just keep it for the series. Don't really know yet. I just thought you should guys should know that I am, you know, starting some Rago and I'm still focusing on all this other stuff. But yeah, thanks to everyone who's been Ragoing with me. And after this video is uploaded, I should be streaming some ra Rago for you guys. I Obviously, I'm not the best, so don't like, oh my god, you're so bad, Tyler. I know that. I, I am really bad, but... Um, I'm getting there. I'm getting places. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just wanted to talk today. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day.